Hello folks, uh, today I have come up with a problem on compound microscope. Uh, this belongs to optics and especially useful for plus two people. And if uh, uh, these A level people also want to learn something about optics, this could be uh, useful if they know the formula, if they know the formula for the magnification of uh, the optical instruments. So the uh, question says that uh, if the final image coincides with the object, and uh, so the first sentence uh, holds all the meaning here. If the final image coincides with the object, so in a microscope, what is happening is the final image coincides with the object itself. So, if I have the object here, if I have the object here, uh, this is the principal axis, the axis here, the final image will be somewhat like this. It is exactly coinciding. Uh, and is at the least distance of distinct vision. So this image is at a distance of 25 centimeter, which is which is the least distance of distinct vision for um, normal people from, from the uh, from the eye or from the eyepiece lens. It says. So let's say this is the eyepiece lens. Eyepiece lens. So it is uh, uh, the distance here is v1 equal to minus 25 centimeter from this. From this lens and the eyes will be somewhere here this will be the eye here so this will be the eyepiece lens uh, when the object is 4 cm from the objective so the objective is such that the objective is such that somewhere around here somewhere around here and this distance is from the object to the objective lens the distance is so this is uh, let me write u1 here u1 and this u1 is equal to 4 centimeter equal to 4 centimeter from the objective calculate the focal lengths of the lenses so we need to find the focal length so what is happening here is uh, in many problems we are given the focal lengths and we might have to find uh, magnifications or the spacings but here what they have done is they have given the uh, magnifications they have given the positions of the objects and they are asking for the focal length so reverse actually <coughs> so now what happens here is so let's go for that what happens is since the object is here, it will form certain magnified image here, real image here, magnified image. So since this is the image, this uh, distance will be V1, which we don't know yet. And uh, this distance will be U2, U2 means uh, the object distance for the second lens. And this is V2, so this should be V2, because uh, it is the image distance for the second lens. So this is the object distance for the first lens, image distance for the first lens object distance for the second lens and the image distance for the second lens and here I have used a minus because it's a virtual image the image formed at the least distance of distinct vision is the virtual image the, the image is not there but uh, we are made to see that so let's go so the first thing that uh, we are given here is the overall magnification the overall magnification magnification of the device of the device is m and that's equal to 14 that's equal to 14 so it means that uh, this magnification is again equal to the the product of magnification of the first lens and the second lenses it is equal to the product of magnifications of the first and second lens so i can write it as i can write it as or m1 m2 is equal to 1 4 m1 m2 and i can write m1 as for the first lens the magnification is equal to the ratio of its image and object distances. So I can write it as V1 by U1. This is for the first lens. And for the second lens, it will be equal to simply V2 by U2, U2, and that's equal to 1, 4. So let's go further. Or V1, I still don't know yet. So that's why I write V1 here. U1, I know, which is 4, 4. Then, 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 then U2, I don't know yet. So, this is U2, U2 and V2, I know. So, V2 is equal to minus 25 centimeter. But uh, this uh, minus sign is used uh, only in the lens equations. Lens equations. For others, we can just consider uh, the numerical value. So, that's why I write the value only here. It is 25 equal to 1, 4. So, let's do some manipulations such that uh, we can have uh, V1 equal to something, something. So, that's why. I can have what I can have is so let me draw border here. So V1 should be equal to equal to U2 goes here. So it is a 14 uh, U2. This 4 also goes here. So let us see it is 14 into 
into 4u2 whole divided divided it is equal to this becomes 25 so it's equal to let me calculate things let me calculate uh, 14 into 4 is equal to 56 divided 25 is equal to 2.24 so 2.24 u2 so v1 is equal to 2.24 u2 we need this data for later use now the next given condition is that this thing is 25 centimeter whereas uh, these things are uh, some distances by uh, in three pieces so what we have here is from the diagram we have this uh, 25 is equal to this whole 25 is equal to u1 plus plus v1 plus u2 see the diagram properly this 25 is equal to u1 plus v1 plus u2 like this and this u1 is equal to 4 so 4 plus v1 plus u2 so from here i can obtain i can obtain so let me rub this i don't need this uh, now now from here i can have 25 so this 4 goes here it becomes 25 minus 4 21 so i will have v1 plus u2 is equal to 21 next equation so let me use this value here this value v1 equal to something something like this so or this gives us 2.24 u2 plus u2 equal to 21 so this is equal to 3.34 u2 so it is a 3.24 u2 is equal to 21 which gives us u2 is equal to 21 divided 3.24 21 divided 3.24 so it's equal to 21 divided 3.24 is equal to 6.48 so 6.48 centimeters so u2 is equal to 6.48 centimeters now let's go for v1 as well v1 is uh, the ratio the uh, small value is given here so this gives us so also this gives us v1 is equal to 2.24 into into u2 is 6.48 which gives us so into uh, 2.24 so that's equal to 14.5 14.5 centimeters so u2 uh, and v1 has been determined we have got u1 and v2 from them we can have the values of focal lengths now for the first lens our focal length is equal to so for the first lens for l1 f1 is equal to u1 v1 by u2 plus v2 i often prefer using this formula because it is uh, quick uh, see if i use uh, that uh, reciprocal formula 1 by f equal to 1 by u plus 1 by v1 that requires longer mathematics so this gives us shorter mathematics so i like it so u1 is equal to 4 into v1 is equal to 14.5 divided it is 4 plus 14.5 so it will give us it will give us somewhat like this so 14.5 uh, 4 into 14.5 equal to divided divided 4 plus 14.5 so it becomes 3.135 so 3.135 centimeter focal length of first lens for the second lens i'll have for l2 f2 is equal to u2 v2 by u2 plus v2 equal to uh, u2 is 6.48 6.48 into v2 is equal to minus 25 centimeters since this has come from the lens equation i need to go for the sign conventions that's why i'll use minus 25 divided again u2 is 6.48 48 um, plus minus 25 so if i do calculations here so here this minus comes this side this minus is greater than this so it will be minus so let's do it uh, <coughs> 25 into 6.48 equal to divided 20 minus 6.48 equal to so this becomes 8.8.74 centimeter and it comes to be positive so positive means that the lens we are using are convex convex here convex here. though 
the image distances are negative. Uh, it has by calculations we obtain the focal length of uh, IP size positive, which means that uh, it is a convex lens. So that solves the 